Hello viewers, welcome to now taking you through this tutorial for all level mathematics of senior 2. So this topic will be on appreciation and depreciation. So this is still under business mathematics and the topic is suitable for students in senior 2, senior 3 and senior 4. So appreciation is the opposite of depreciation, therefore appreciation is gain of value while depreciation is loss of value of an asset and there are formulas we shall be using. So for appreciation we shall be using the formula that final price after n year is equal to P. So P is the principal, R is the rate of appreciation and N is the number of years as it here. So that will be the formula for appreciation. What about for depreciation? So for depreciation, final price after n years will be P. So P is the principal, R is the rate of depreciation. Remember, R in this case was the rate of appreciation. This one is the rate of depreciation. And N is the number of years of interest. So the difference is that for appreciation, there is a plus, meaning there is a gain. While for depreciation, there is a minus, meaning there is a loss. So P is the price at the beginning of N years, R is the rate of appreciation, depreciation per annum, and N is the time in years. So with those two formulas, we shall go through these examples. So example one says, Timothy bought a piece of land at of 40 million shillings. If it appreciates in value at a rate of 5% per annum, what will it cost after 5 years? years so in this case 5 is the is our value of n and r is 5 also then p is 40 million so the first thing to do is to code the formula for appreciation though not that for appreciation there is a plus there so next is to substitute so p we substitute 40 million which was got from here r we substitute 5 which was got from here and n is n with substitute 5 which is this all the substituting we shall simplify so simplifying this in brackets we shall come up with 1.05 but remember there is a power of 5 which is also there so next when you simplify further we shall come up with the final price as 51 million and 51,662.5 shillings so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for, for quoting the formula, M1 for substituting, M1 for simplifying and A1 for the output. So now we shall go to example 2. Example 2 say that a telephone is valued at shillings 150,000 if its value is if its value depreciates at 2% per annum what will be the value of the telephone after 6 years so because it's depreciation here it will be minus or is not that next is to substitute so p will substitute 150,000 which is this then for r is the rate it is 2 which was got from here and n is 6 which was got from here number of years next is to simplify so when i simplify what is in brackets i'll come up with 0 0.98 all that i'll simplify everything to come up with shillings 132,872.36 shillings so basically that's what they wanted now let's see how much can be awarded so M1 for quoting the formula, M1 for substituting the formula, M1 for simplifying, and A1 for the output. So now we shall go to example 3. Example 3 says that the value of a car depreciates by 12% per year. If the value is now shillings 6,195,200, what was the value of the car two years ago? So in this case, what they have given us, unlike in the previous question, they have given us now the final price. So this this is the final price 
and the rate is there and n is 2 now what they want is the value of p so let's substitute for final price r and n so when you substitute final price is that r is this which was got from here and n is 2 which was got from here so this final price was got from there next is to simplify when i simplify it is in brackets i'll come up with 0 0.88 Therefore, when I simplify the whole of this, I'll come up with 0 0.77 for add p there, which is there. So next is to make p the subject by dividing throughout by 0 0.7744 to come up with shillings 8 million. So that's what they wanted. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for substituting the left hand side, M1 for substituting the right hand side, M1 for division, and A1 for the output. So now we shall go to example 4 which came from UNEB 2006 paper 1 question 15b and says Mr. Ronald Anguio bought a car at shillings 4.5 million. The car depreciated, now that word depreciated at a rate of 12% per annum. Then they said that after two years Ronald decided to sell the car to his friend at 25% less, not that word, 25% less of the value of the car then. Find the price at which his friend bought the car. So you know that the amount of the car after two years will be given by the formula A equal to P. This is the formula for depreciation. So we're going to substitute P is 4.5 million, which was got from here. Then R is 12, which was, was got from here. And N is 2, which was got from here. So when I simplify, I'll come up with the amount after two years being equal to 3,484,800 shillings. But they told us that he sold it to his friend at 25% less. So there was a loss of 25%. So we have to sub first subtract of this 25 to come up with the new price, new percentage being equal to 75%. So what does that mean? It means that the selling price will be 75% of this value, which is that. So 75% is the same as 75 over 100. And this of means multiplication. So when you substitute, you come up with 2,613,600 shillings. So basically, that's what they wanted. And now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for quoting the formula, M1 for substituting the formula, M1 for simplifying, and B1 for output, M1 for substituting, and B1, A1 for the output. So before we go to the next example, we have to write to, to note the following. So if the rate R changes from year to year, then the price after the first year will be the principal of the second year. So this note is very, very important because all sometimes what we, the examples we've been doing, the rate has been constant for all the years, but now sometimes the rate may change from year to year. So when it changes, always remember that the price after the first year will be the principal for the second year and so on similarly the price after the second year will be the principal for the third year and so on furthermore since the rate changes each year since the rate changes each year then the value of n will be equal to one since the formula is reused each year so always note that that when the rate changes for after every year it means that n is 1. So if it changes after 2 years, it means n is 2. If it changes after 3 years, n is 3 and so on. So with that knowledge, we shall go through this example 5, which came from UNEB 1994, paper 1, question 8, and says, In a showroom, the price of a car is given at, is given as shillings 5.8 million. During sale, a discount of 15% is allowed. Now that word discount of 15% is allowed. Part A. How much does a customer pay for 
a car. Then part B, after the car has been bought in the first year, its value depreciates by 25% and by 20% during the second year. So in the first year, depreciation rate was 25%. Second year, depreciation rate was 20%. So that means that the rate keeps on changing every year. Find the price of the car after one year and the price of the car after two years. So you start with part A, they will say the discount of 15%, so the new percentage will now be 85%. Therefore, amount paid will be 85% of 5.8 million. So 85% is the same as 85 over 100 of means multiplication. So in the end, you shall come up with 4,930,000 shillings. Now we shall go to part B, Roman 1. So for the first year, N is equal to 1 and R1 is equal to 25. Therefore, we shall come and substitute in our formula. This is the formula for depreciation. There is a minus for depreciation. Or is not that? So when I substitute, the principal is this, which is now here. Then the rate is 25, which was given the question. N is 1 because it change, it's changing every year. Therefore, the amount you now, when I simplify what is in brackets, I'll come up with this. Therefore, when I simplify further, I'll come up with shillings, 3,697,500. So before I go to the next slide, let's see how the mass can be awarded for this slide. So M1 was for substituting and A1 for output. M1 for substituting, M1 for simplifying, and A1 for output. So now we shall go to part Roman 2 where they want the price after the two years. So for the second year, N is equal to 1 and rate is 20% and the amount of the first year will now be the principal of the second year. That's why there is this principal. That we shall come and code the formula for depreciation and then we substitute. So when I simplify, I'll come up with that and when I simplify further, I'll come up with the amount being 2,958,000 shillings. So basically that's what they wanted and let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for substitution, M1 for simplifying and A1 for the output. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the next video will be on higher purchase and still under business mathematics. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video on higher purchase has been uploaded. Otherwise, thank you for watching and also if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp. So that you can all benefit us a family.